guys, today I'm at CrossFit Gold Box with Christine and I'm going to try out some CrossFit movements. Christine, I've never done it and you have to tell my viewers what is it all about. Okay, so CrossFit mm. um, are functional movements performed at high intensity. Mm -hmm. What I mean by a functional movement is a movement that will help you in your everyday life. For example, a deadlift, picking up something from heavy from the floor, mm. right? You want to pick up your kid from the floor? Same movement, right. right? That's what CrossFit tries to replicate. Okay. It's an exercise methodology performed at high intensity, designed to help you in the real world or with other sports. Today you're going to show me some arm exercises. Yeah, toning your arms, getting those muscles in check. Yeah, I know, and they're so important. And I know a lot of women are conscious about their their arms, and just few movements can really get them. Exactly. Sexy uh, arms. Today, we're looking at movements that will help tone your arms and make them stronger to help you in your everyday life, but also not adding bulk, not right. really adding too much bulk to your body. Yeah, that's always a concern. Yes. So, wow, I'm super excited because I'm always looking for exercises that I can do for my arms to wear those really nice sleeveless dresses. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, these are my some of my favorite movements that we're okay. going to go through today. Um, again, Anybody can do them. Um, if we need to, we can look at some easier scaling options. Okay, great. Let's start. So, toning your arms, all right? This is my all-time favorite movement to target your triceps, which is one thing girls really like to target because, you know, you might say, hello, and this yeah. might kind of come out there. You know, this really helps target that area. All right, so the first thing you do, Get back into that plank, right? Make sure your shoulders are right over your hands and your body is flat, right? No sagging down there, that's not good for your back. So raise those hips up. If you need to scale, come down onto your knees, okay? So maybe I'll show the scaled version first. Come all the way down, make sure your hands are somewhere where your bra line is, elbows tucked in, roll if you need to, that's it. There you go, that's it. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's really nice. Yep, that's good. The tricep burning? Yes. <laughs> burning. Good job. <laughs> so you don't have to burn out on these. You can do, you know, three or four sets of five to ten. Okay. No need to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So the second exercise we have for toning your arms is dolphin hold, okay? It's actually a movement borrowed from yoga, but I love it because it's a great way of strengthening your shoulders without adding bulk. Let's do it. So come down here onto your knees, and you wanna just bring your arms down from the elbow to the hand and make sure that your arms, you can grab your elbows to make sure they're in the right place. Hands out in front, okay? And you just come up onto your tippy toes like that. There you go, and just keep your shoulders right where they are, head off the floor, mm -hmm. and if you want, you can walk your feet in a little closer, that's it, and push your head through your arms, that's it. So try to make your back as straight as possible, that's it. And try to imagine lifting your hips to the sky, that's it. So you should feel like a little burn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you, what are you saying? <laughs> Right? So you can really work on a couple of sets of these, uh, three or four sets of anywhere from 20 seconds to a full minute. A minute is pretty hard, so you know I would recommend starting first with you know anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds okay. and then building it up. So well, let's try 20 seconds. Who's keeping count? <laughs> If you start vibrating and shaking, that's a good sign. <laughs> that means you're doing it right. So if you guys start feeling like your, your core is hurting, mm -hmm. it probably means your feet are too far away okay. and you're just in the plank. Okay. So but you should really feel, feel it. Exactly, so walk your feet closer. Next part, toning your arms. Mm -hmm. We're gonna target a slightly different area, focusing more on your traps in this area here, right? You can't always focus on your triceps and your delts. Sometimes you gotta work a little bit behind too. So, we're gonna use a relatively light weight, okay? Safely pick it up with a nice straight back and just think about your shoulders. You don't want them to kind of roll in. You wanna just stand nice and proud sticking your chest up and just very calmly raise it up to your collarbone and back down. Nice light weight, high repetitions, that's it. 
Again, you can do three or four sets of 10 to 15. High elbows. <laughs> Burning. Burning. <laughs> One last thing for turning your arms. I promise it's the last movement. You're gonna need some dumbbells, all right? With this, actually, it could be the lighter the dumbbell, the better. Okay. Yep. So you wanna think about standing nice and tall, proud chest, roll your shoulders out, and very, very uh, slowly just raise the dumbbells out to the side and back down. Just to shoulder height, not higher. That's it, there you go. And you should feel these already. And you can actually just do sets of Three sets of 10, something okay. like that. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it too. <laughs> I'm just faking the smile right now. <laughs> just smiling. <laughs> feel the incredible pain, <laughs> which means something, something right is happening. <laughs> and as you said, we'll keep feeling it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>